Okay, so I've got the social zone working. Um, when I cleared out the orifice and put it in and turned it on, it didn't light up. <laughs> Can't win, can you? It turned out that this was stuck closed, so I had to disassemble it and uh, take it out of here and get the uh, internal rod moving again. And now it appears to be working. The office zone is shut. Zero pressure on the gauge. And the um, Sunday school zone has got about two pounds on there. I shifted the weight over to make sure that the uh, rod does drop. Let's see, let me get under here. Oh boy. I mean, the trouble is everything, everything here now is 200 degrees, and I'm uh, pretty warm. So this has been cleaned and restored. Uh, this was opened up and uh, cleaned, it wasn't all that dirty, uh, but you still want to make sure that uh, the stuff builds up in there. You lift the rod and test to so make sure that it shuts off. And then we got to get it fired up. Now we replace this control here, the motor control. It's, uh, it is normally closed when you energize it 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 uh, ramps up and then when you uh, de-energize it uh, the spring then returns it um, this control here is a three wire control and it will need to be powered open and powered closed um, eventually when that fails we'll have to replace that that also is a three wire control but it's still working so we'll keep it on until it fails uh, we got some really old traps here that uh, need to have been replaced about 50 years ago and it's still rolling I got the thermostat turned up to about 70 um, so the radiators are getting quite warm. Uh, a couple of traps here, uh, which I've replaced over the years. What happens to the condensate? I'll show you that real quick. Let me go out here. This, I think, was where the old boiler room was uh, some 60 years ago. And uh, when the boiler room when the boiler died, then that's when they uh, bought, bought the steam from the uh, utility. So let's take a look under here. And this is basically the uh, steam utilities cash register. All the steam that goes through is then uh, condensed and it's basically a water meter, a reverse water meter. And that is dead steam, um, basically on its way to being dumped to the uh, inner harbor of Baltimore. Uh, what they used to do is they would run it through this heat exchanger and uh, get, uh, get some hot water, but uh, that was abandoned a long time ago. And uh, I've had to um, do some other work there to stop the leaks and so forth. But that is how it works. And that is why the Inner Harbor doesn't freeze.